welcome to News Round with Hayley and Ricky. We have a very special programme for you this weekend. I'm in London, ahead of the King's coronation. King Charles III will be coronated here. He'll start at Buckingham Palace, which is his home here in London. And I'm Ricky, just outside Westminster Abbey, where the King will be crowned in a very special ceremony tomorrow, right here. This is News Round. Hello and welcome to our very special programme. We're here live in London, ahead of the King's coronation. Behind me is Buckingham Palace, the King's home in London. And as you can see, parades are already in practice as horses and military behind me are doing their practice ahead of the parade, which will start tomorrow morning. It will leave the palace here at 10 a.m. The King will be accompanied by his wife, the Queen Consort, and close members of his family, including his children and grandchildren. Well, thousands of people are coming to this place to see him and to wish him well. I've been here since yesterday and already there were throngs of crowds, people who'd come to see the flower displays that have been planted specially for this occasion, or they've come to wish the king their well wishes, or they've come to soak up the atmosphere, as there are hundreds of TV crews and reporters from the media all over the world who have come to report on this very special event. It's a huge royal occasion, the first coronation there's been in over 70 years here in the UK. Now, while I was here yesterday, I met a few children who have travelled to London especially. Here's what they told me. I come from Portsmouth and I've come here today so I can like, so perhaps men from the coronation. <laughs> I've come to London to see the king being crowned. It's gonna, it's gonna be really cool and lots of things from everywhere. I, I hope he'll be I'm really hoping he comes out, but he probably won't. He might. If we stay here for long enough and keep waving, you never know. He might. Yeah. Well, we hope he waves to us, that's for sure. But after the King has left the palace here tomorrow morning, he'll head down the mall onto Westminster Abbey, where he will be crowned. And Ricky is there for us now. Hi, Ricky, what can you see? Yes, morning Hayley, can you believe it? The excitement certainly is in the air. We are just a day away from that big coronation. I'm outside Westminster Abbey, which is a truly historic building, one of the most famous buildings in London and the UK. It's where many kings and queens have had the coronation. And uh, let me give you a sense of where we are. Buckingham Palace is in that direction. Over there, we've got the Houses of Parliament and Big Ben, some really famous landmarks. There's a lot of police officers around us, a huge security presence here. Uh, but tomorrow we will see that famous golden coach arrive. King Charles III will step out and he'll head into those doors behind me here at Westminster Abbey. Now, all week there have been rehearsals going on to make sure that the coronation runs smoothly. Uh, there's been lots of armed service men and women involved in that to make sure they know exactly what they're doing. He's officially been king since September last year, but tomorrow is the day when His Royal Highness uh, will have this religious and royal ceremony. Uh, what about the royal prince and princesses? Well, some of them will be taking part in tomorrow's coronation. The king's grandson, nine-year-old Prince George, will be a page inside Westminster Abbey along with Queen Consort Camilla's grandchildren as well. So what else can we look forward to on the big day? Well, here's Shanique with some top tips for you. Let's start with the crown. It's the centerpiece of the coronation and there's even an emoji of it. The St Edward's crown was made in 1661 for another Charles, King Charles II. But FYI, it's a copy of an older crown thought to have been used since the 11th century. What happened to that one? Well, it got melted down. Second, the venue. Westminster Abbey is one of the most historically important buildings in the UK. It saw William the Conqueror crowned in 1066 and has been used to crown every king and queen since. It's also been the place of funerals, the queens took place here, and weddings, Prince William and Catherine married here too. It's the final resting place of many kings and queens and famous people, including Charles Dickens. Third, the guest list. About 2,000 people are expected to attend the coronation. Sorry, it is invite only. Among them will be the royal family, kings, queens and presidents from around the world. But there will be some people missing. 
US President Joe Biden won't be there, although his wife Jill will. And while Prince Harry is coming, Meghan and their kids, Lilibet and Archie, aren't. Fourth, the transport. One of the big moments in the day will be the processions. For the journey to the coronation, King Charles will be in this very fancy carriage, the Diamond State Jubilee Coach. It comes with heaters, aircon and electric windows. But the journey home will be in a still fancy but less luxury gold state coach. Queen Elizabeth called it horrible. Oh dear. Last up, the crown jewels. The orb is a golden ball with a jewel cross on it. It's designed to say that the new monarch's power comes from God. The scepters look like big golden sticks covered in jewels. They're meant to represent the king's power and rule. The orb and scepters are part of the crown jewels kept guarded in the Tower of London. So if you were thinking of borrowing them, then you can forget it. Well, if you want to find out even more about the coronation, you can head online to the Newsround website where you'll find out what the king actually does and see which celebs will be at the coronation concert, which happens on Sunday. Back to you, Hayley. Thanks, Ricky. Well, there's so much more coronation news to come, but first, let's find out some other news from today. There were important elections across England where adults voted for who they wanted to run your local councils. Now, local councils run things in your area, like parks, schools and bin collections. And so far, the results have not been good for Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's Conservative Party. They've lost a lot of council seats. But it was a better night for Labour and the Liberal Democrats, as they have both gained votes. There are still lots of votes which will be counted today. But for now, let's get some more news on King Charles's coronation. We know what the King is up to, but what are you up to where you are? Well, you've been letting us know on the Newsround website. And Cute Bunny has written in to say, I'm going to watch the King's coronation and we'll have a party in the playground today. Ezra says my nana is throwing a coronation party. We've even got a flag with King Charles on it. And Isle of Art is baking a three-layer cake for their local street party. Also, Hattie says I'm going to see the coronation with the girl guiding group. Well, keep those comments coming in, guys. We'll be here all weekend, so make sure you keep telling us what you're up to. That's all from Ricky and me for the moment, but we'll be back here tomorrow morning and we'll bring you the latest news ahead of that coronation. And it's going to be an historic event. There's lots going on wherever you are. So make sure you have a great weekend and enjoy yourselves. Bye-bye.